name is George Shalom and in this video I'm gonna share with you how I made my first dress which is a white cotton neck dress. This is a dress which can be styled in so many different ways which is a video in itself. So if you'd like to see one of those do DM or comment on this video. Also it's fair enough to say I'm no big pro, I'm just gonna share the way I did it. If you'd like to know more about uh, me or what inspired me to get into this journey, I have a link to my blog below. Do give it a read. Now let's just jump straight to the tutorial. So this green board right here is not something which is mandatory. If you have a flat surface and well and good, you can go ahead. But if you're someone who's planning on sewing regularly, then this is something which is very good to invest on. Because if you have a roller blade, which is again a good substitute for scissors, uh, that works very good on these kind of uh, boards. And also apart from this, I have my scaling kit, which will help us draw uh, lines and curves, things like that. And also particularly for this project, we need Velcro. I have that here. Uh, and a usual pencil, eraser, some pins, uh, fabric eraser, uh, our inch tape. And also I have not shown here, but you definitely need sewing machine, your needles, threads, etc. This is a measurement diagram which will help you record your own measurements. As a first step, from the top, mark your bust point, your waist point, your hip point and the point at which your dress ends. Across these points, just mark a simple line. This will help us to mark our cross measurements. On your bust line, Use your cross measurement of your bust, divide that by 4 and mark it right there. For waist, you're going to do the same with adding extra 1 inch for your darts. For your hip line and for your end line, do the same as bust line. Whatever your measurement, divide that by 4. Now, I'm going to connect these points together, which gives us the basic shape for a dress. When connecting your hip point to your end point, I'm going to use a curved scale, which makes my job a little more easier. From my left edge, I'm going to mark 3 inches and drop this 3 inches line by 1 inch. This is because our shoulders are generally not too straight. I'm going to connect now the 3 inches point and our dropped point together. Now on top of this point, mark your shoulder length measurement that you took. In my case, it's 4 inches. From your shoulder point, mark your chest point measurement that you took earlier. Now join the shoulder point, your chest point and your bust line together. Also draw another horizontal line across and extend this by 1 inch or maybe half an inch. This is basically just for your ease of movement across your armhole. And I'm going to join that part of the line to the bust line. Now I'm going to add a midpoint. And also mark 1 inch from our shoulder line. 1 inch within. This is basically uh, will help us give a shape to our armhole. I'm just drawing a free curve. And later I thought my free curve isn't working fine so I just went ahead and used a scale for it. 
that's it i'm just marking my center front and just a few indications finally my bust part my waist part and my hip part most of our dress is ready except for the darts for your darts divide your nipple to nipple measurement by two and mark that point on your waistline now draw a straight line joining this point along with your bust line and your hip line now mark half an inch on either side of these points now take 1 inch from your bust line downwards and 2 inches above your hip line these are basically the start and the end of your darts you can customize it the way that you need now just join all of these points together with this we are pretty much done with our darts Right before we start with our collars, this is how my pattern looks right now. If you think that you've done something wrong at this point, it's time to correct. Or if you think that I've done something wrong, please do let me know. For our collars, from our 3 inches point, I'm just marking two circular lines which will be basically our collar, this is our alternate dress. So I'm gonna have pretty high waist collars. Now it's time to cut out our collars. I'm gonna use a roller blade here. If you're using one of these, be very careful because it's pretty sharp. I've cut my hands quite a lot since this was my first time. So that's a bit of advice for you. Now we have our cut patterns ready and our collar ready as well. Now place your pattern on top of your fabric. At 1 cm seam allowance, use your fabric chalk and mark these lines. Also make sure that you add seam allowance only on the sides that you plan to sew. You're not able to see the lines properly here since it's a white fabric but what you have to do is on the center line double fold your fabric and then cut the fabric so that you get one whole piece using our pattern. So now it's time for us to note down our darts. There are many different ways of noting the darts. What I've done is pinned up on those pretty edges, turned it upside down and I'm using a scale to just mark those points using a fabric chalk. Now since our dart points are ready, we are going to do the same thing on the other side and then pin each side basically all four points together and this is how it should look. I am moving on to cut out my collar. While cutting out your collar, make sure to add 1 cm of seam allowance on all ends and also add 1 inch on the right side. This is basically to allow your collar go up all the way around your neck. Now I have 4 pieces in a panel that is because I am using lining and 2 pieces in collar. 
I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing my darts. Once that's done, you need to place your dress in such a way that the wrong side faces you up and both the right sides are together. And you need to sew along one of the sides so that you get one whole piece of your dress. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for my lining as well. So I have one whole piece for my actual dress and one whole piece for my lining. Now we have to connect our lining and the actual dress together. In order to do this, place the right sides together and we need to sew along the uh, edges basically these points so that uh, we have one whole dress connecting our lining and the actual dress. So this is how it should look once you have your points pinned up. Once this is done, we need to turn our dress inside out so that it looks like this. Now we need to sew the only remaining side pending, so connecting all of these four together. In this way, we will have one whole dress ready. For collars, start pinning up 1 cm inside and you need to sew along this line. Once I'm done sewing, I'm going to use a velcro to connect my front side and my back side together so that my alternate stands fine. Uh, you may consider me lazy, I just don't want to risk my first dress with buttons since I'm not experienced so I'm going the easy way that's velcro. This is how your dress will look once it's done. If you can see, I've messed up my stitches in the collar. So I'm going to do something to just cover it up. I'm taking a piece of cloth. I'm folding it up. I'm going to stitch it right on top of that collar. Once I did it, I actually realized it looks much better than before. Hey, if you've come this far, then thank you so much for watching. And also from the time I made my first dress and now there are various tricks and techniques that I've learned which I'm going to be sharing with you in the coming weeks so do watch out and also if you have some leftover fabric or your old t-shirts on shirts save all of those you're going to be seeing how to recycle these and make cute little tops and dress in the coming weeks as well uh, if you think this video has benefited you or entertained you in any way please do like share and subscribe this is joy from for joy and i hope that i've given you some joy thank you and have a good rest of your day or evening bye bye